I find it interesting how there are people who will study a subject, they may even get a PhD in it, and they'll continue to use the fact that they got a PhD in, in something in order to somehow make their opinions more valuable. And I just, like, okay, people who study sociology, people like Christy Winters, for instance, she never comes up with any answers to any of the problems that will actually work unless everyone is on board with the same mindset that she has. Well, if we just convert everyone, uh, then it'll all work out fine. Well, that's the same. That's the same thing that the, the the you know Christians want to do. Well, if everyone converts over, everything will be fine. And Muslims, well, if everyone converts over, everything will be fine. And atheists, everyone converts over, it'll be fine. And I'm sure I'll get some some shit. Well, you know, atheism isn't a belief. Well, there's some people who kind of make it a belief. Um. Uh, and I could I could go into that. It, it kind of has to do with well, you know, this unknown thing. You know, we don't know what it is, therefore it's nothing. Not, therefore we don't know what it is, and therefore this is intriguing. No, no, uh, I don't know what this is, therefore it's nothing. You know, there's this, there's a certain kind of mindset that comes with that sometimes. Um, but, uh, yeah, just about any kind of uh, mindset out there, they're like, well, you know, if everyone just converts over to our belief, it'll work out fine. And, and as soon as, as an answer that you have requires that everyone convert to your viewpoint, you've lost. You're, you're, you're done. It's done. It's not going to work. It doesn't matter how much you've studied something. A lot of stuff only works on paper. You can say, well, you know, we just need to change this over to this and, you know, find some way to, to move, change the, these systems so they don't affect things this way and, and it'll just be fine. Well, well no, it isn't. It's, 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 there are some systems that will always be in place. They'll morph into other things. And we just have to try to, to you know, reduce harm. Let's reduce harm. Let's try to reduce harm. But it's, it's, it's these, these answers that people have are just like, okay, yeah, that's messed up. Same thing happens with those who study, you know, study governments, uh, study our, hist our history, uh, study the history of other, other governments, you know, people that can recite you really like documents from the 1800s, right? And so many of them will kind of start you know, they, they kind of go, well, this, these, these old ways, they, they worked for these people. And then it's like, you, you, you don't take into consideration technology and all this other stuff, you know, no, the, the old way that that'll work good. Anarcho-capitalism, uh, libertarianism, uh, you know, not social, uh, not libertarian socialism, but you know, the other types of libertarianism. And it's like, like this stuff only works on paper. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you have a very small population, just about any kind of government can work. Once the population gets to a certain size, unless you're just, unless it's just truly, you just believe in this, this uh, survival of the fittest kind of, of method, it's just like, wow. Um, so only this very, very few people, you know, have a good life and everyone else has a shit life. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I guess I just don't look at that very positively. I don't. I don't look at that as working very well. Every kind of government that we could have, when you have a large population, is going to have some of that. But I mean, at least try to work at harm reduction in some way. But you know, anarcho-capitalism and libertarianism doesn't do that, and neither do a lot of these people. That, that study sociology and are trying to, to shove forth these messages, these, 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 the, all these systems and all this. Yeah, but if you don't have any answers, you know, this, this shit that you're pushing forth, it only works if everyone converts to your belief. It only works on paper. That doesn't do you any good. That doesn't do society any good. What good is you getting some PhD in something 
if you can't do anything reasonable with it. Well, I mean, to some people, like Christy Winters, it's great to, to be condescending to people. It's great to, to show how, oh, I, I've studied so much, I know so much more than other people on this subject. That's nice. And what do you do with it? It's like someone who gets, they get, they get a, they get a degree in music. They get a PhD in music. And they don't, they're not still able to do anything with it. <laughs> you know, they don't, they don't write any music. They don't, they'll, they'll just kind of rattle off how much they know about all the terminology. And someone shows you shows shows you something, and you're like, "Well, that's from the era, and it's mixed with the uh, 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 Zorna Vagani's uh, theory of 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 harmony, right?" And it's like, "Yeah, well, that's nice. That's nice. You know all that stuff. It's nice you know all that information. What are you doing with it?" So. You know, someone's education is sort of like, um, you know, and someone having an education or not having that much of an education and just trying to learn as much as they can. It's kind of like uh, how you can take something that's cheap and make it great. And you can take something that's expensive and make it crap. You know, uh... There might, let's say, uh, uh, doing a cosmetology, uh, uh, a relaxer, right? Hair relaxer or permanent wave solution, right? You can get this cheap, cheap stuff and actually get really good results if you know what you're doing. Or you can take uh, something that's the most professional product out there, the, the highest quality, and do a perm and it looks like crap. Fried their hair and didn't curl it or anything, right? Um, education or not having an education is like the difference between having cheap product and expensive product. Whatever information or knowledge you have about something, um, if you're not doing anything good with it, you're not doing anything significant with this expensive, all this stuff that you've, all these terms you've learned, then what good is it? Now, th I'm not saying an education is no good because there are people that do amazing things with having a good education. Amazing stuff. Plenty of people doing amazing things. But then there's others who just, like, you, you act like if you go through the motions of, of, of getting this degree, I mean, and if you spend enough time, just about anyone can get good grades, can get a degree, but if you don't, if after you get that, the only thing you can do is smear it in people's face, look at me, I have this degree. Look at me, I can be condescending to people because I can tell them all these words, that, the, that these, these big words or these, these buzzwords, and, and well, I know the real meanings of them, but you don't, you know this, you know the colloquial versions of these words. Ha 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 ha. I just, <laughs> it, 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 this shit drives me nuts. Yeah, Christy Winters, uh, I'm talking to people like you. What good does your PhD do you when all you do with it is just be condescending to people? Have there been anyone that, that you've, you've just reached and you've just changed their life because of this stuff that you say? Or have they already been on your side? You got tons of people who already agree with you. Oh, I'm already on your side. Oh, look at all these people. Oh, yeah, but what? Yay, you can preach to the choir. And you can gather up with the choir to, to make other people feel like shit about themselves. Congratulations. 
what good are you doing? If you indeed are about equality for everyone and, you know, everything that it pretty much means to be an egalitarian, if you're supposedly about that, uh, yeah, where is it? Where's your egalitarianism? 